Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again with another Paladins video. Going to be covering Khan today, although for some reason it didn't pop up there. He got a buff to his Bulwark, 4250 to 4.4, and then a pretty substantial buff to the End Shield, which is good, in my opinion. This buff to Khan has seemingly gone under the radar for most people. I haven't really heard many people talk about it, and I haven't seen it in my games really at all, but it's pretty substantial, even though I haven't played with it yet. This is going to be my first impressions. I did mess around with it in the target practice, and the cards do stack. You can absorb about 14 Cassie shots when you have both the cards, whereas just without this one, you absorb about 11 to 12. That's while shorting it up the entire time, although I didn't actually check without the talent, so I'll do that now in the intro real quick to actually compare the numbers, but the setup is pretty much the same. Hope guard, so we've got a ton of extra healing when we've got our shield up, bit of self-heal, and then two sort of filler cards that are also quite nice, although I do have two other versions of the shield setup. I wouldn't really recommend them over this one most of the time. This one's full self-heal stuff, and this one's just full like health on the shield, so it's like 5.4k, but overall, wouldn't really recommend these two over this unless specifically you know why you'd want to run them. I did just go ahead and check real quick in the target practice how many shots you can take without the talent and without the recharge rate, although without the talent, the recharge rate doesn't really matter that much because you have to de-deploy it. You can take about six and a half, seven. So if you go for the talent, you're about doubling it. And then if you grab the card that increases the recharge rate max level as well, you're doing a little bit extra up to 14. So six, 11, 12, 14 ish. Yeah, you get what I mean. Shoutouts to that is our Dambo. We've also got a Sky Knesset and a Barrack. Siege, Seven Beach, by the way, but we'll go for the End Shield. The standard setup here for this. So they've got a Black and Andro, a Lilith, a Vatu, and a Ray. By the way, people ask me this every now and again if they should call me by my name, Spencer or Frostfangs. I don't mind either. Pressure in my own Knesset, Debilitate, Ripen, Cord, Fortify, Crazy setup here for a Siege, to be honest. Extension, Unearing, Maelstrom, Curse Evolve, and Bounce House. So they have like a full flank healer team, and we're going for like a Giga Try Hard on like a Siege sort of setup here. Don't know what the hell there uh Lilith's gonna try and do there pull up the shield i guess we can just sort of do this with barak and a damble ripened gourd we have just an unrivaled amount of sort of staying power here on the point back is making some kind of weird moves i guess we can put the shield to cover the damble a little bit but it seems like he's holding his own anyway doesn't feel like we're really being pressured at all i feel like this game's kind of in the bag just because we have such a crazy team comp for this sort of thing i feel like regardless of what happens here just because of the team comps even if they play incredibly well we're at a pretty damn big advantage. Obviously, we can do other stuff other than just, you know, absorb damage with the shield. The increased healing we get as well with, like, a Damber Ripe and Gord is just ridiculous. There's a grab on the Andro. Shots on him. Can we finish him off? Tried to pull up shield. A little bit too slow there. Yeah, Haven, Rejuvenate. Then we'll get Veteran as well. We'll just go fully in the direction of being, like, cheesy people who can absorb crazy amounts. We'll just pull up the shield. Yeah, don't think they can really do much. Even as we're getting shot here, it's feeling pretty beefy. I have been recording a ton recently since the update's out because I'm going to be away a little bit in May to prepare some videos and stuff and my voice is really just shredded it's like going halfway through this recording right now but it's not painful so it's fine it doesn't really matter that much that's my damn going for the ult trying to finish off andro but my accuracy there's ass there's vatu gone can we go for the ult here andro ulted but that's sort of whatever no one even really cares the team got we've got here is just ridiculous that's going to be yeah the 2-0 if you want easy wins on the siege or something in casuals this sort of thing is really going to do it for you vatu going for the ult did i just block that or did he just not go far enough i don't know the f bugged as the shield is really not going to be something they can pressure here. Damba with just right and cool alone. Even without the right clicks is just enough to keep us up, I reckon. Unless they're all hitting my shield. And yeah, Barrett can put the right click. I can put the shield intermittently. We're just crazy tanky here. <laughs> it's the 3-0. They could be pushing on it and maybe they'd be doing something. But yeah, they're also sort of just giving us it. There goes the Andro. One more shot. But this is more of a showcase for this sort of team comp than it is for this setup. I don't know how I didn't die there. I was playing so stupid and somehow Damba came in in time to save my ass. Obviously, though, that is the huge sort of advantage to this setup and similar to nando really uh, if people are above you you're going to just get hit over the shield it's not even going to matter so you need to position yourself sort of well it's a q heal for him hello vatu shots for you just there I'll put the shield again so pushes like this are kind of tough there's a grab on buck i think i'm dead though fair play we took well like again 10k somewhere around there we'll go for more haven do i finish it off or do we go for other stuff let's go veteran rejuvenate why not you know helping this damper get a crazy start he's getting jumped here there's a q frim hello buck there's the grab which missed never mind hit the lift i feel like i was out of range there but okay but still holding on that's got to be a joke right we're in the ripened gorge shots on the lift here i could put the right click in a second but i don't even really need it we'll grab the buck whilst he's in the ultimate sure there's a q i feel like i've got everybody on me here and somehow we're still sort of fine i need to kill the anjo should have probably shielded there back was doing a weird loop I guess we can go over this way and throw her off the map right is this gonna work i guess we'll find out i mean she's dead anyway because this is already gonna kill her didn't even get a chance this is definitely gonna be a tough spot to push just because i can't really use the shield like the one situation where i can't shield because they're just gonna keep firing over it yeah here we go push failed the one thing that kind of leaves me confused here is that they have max resilience on the buck 
and the Vatu. Is that just for Dambastem? We don't have any other CC, so what else could it possibly be for? That is the ult from the Lilith. Shots on a health bar is pretty beefy, to be honest. Although, obviously, ability is cast yeah, from that health bar. There's shots on the Ray Shield again. It's going to stand here. There's the Q. Why am I on my own on the point? A bit of a weird movement there. I died. I don't know how we got so split up there. That was weird. It must have been the Damber who was running in late after I was dead. I could actually see him running in. I don't know if that's because he died or he was just late. I'm not sure. It's the right click. I think we can sort of hold this here. We do have a bit of self heal going off. We get out of combat also. That's kind of a crazy percentage heal on it. There's shots on the Ray. Doesn't have a very big health bar compared to Lilith here. She looks really, really easy to get rid of. Yeah, we've officially regained the point. Grab on the bug. We might as well grab the Lilith here just to finish it off and really add a bit of insult to the injury. That's going to be. The 4-1. Overall, I feel like everybody on the team there played their role. Two tanks with the Damba, especially both of us focusing on shields. It's kind of crazy. That was probably the right setup to run there, by the way. I could have focused on damage, but I feel like going for the tank setup actually worked out. Because realistically, you can still deal quite a bit of damage. You're just not as focused on it, and you're slightly lower on your max potential damage output compared to what you would be fully going for like the normal sort of Khan thing. But Bag did a great job there, so did Kinesa. I feel like Damba did great there. Sky not so much, but she still did fine. My Kinesa could easily be enough a little bit for where it is at the moment. Even with the six second on the, you know, timer, I feel like maybe it should be a little bit less spammy and a little bit more of having some other effect than just damage on the mine. Like I said in the other video, I'm not gonna talk about it too much here. Did that enough already? All right, well, for game two, Sky, the Victor, Leanne, and on some performance rise for the map. For their side, Forest, Strix, Koga, Io and Lilith. So we are going to be the only person sort of camping the point, I suppose. Of course, I'm going to go for the same thing. Quite appropriate, considering we do have a here. Leon. We've got the new skin as well, which I really, really do like. It's going on me actually even more from when I covered it on the channel. We'll go for Haven. Or do we go Rejuvenate Veteran? We'll go Rejuvenate Veteran. Why not? I think I talked about this the last time I covered like Shield Khan, but if you've got a duo who's like maining supports, this is really the sort of thing that's going to help them out. Precision, Debilitate, Custard Cord, Cardio, so even more sort of sustained stuff going on. Nocturnal, Lifelink, Adrenaline, Junkie, Custard Cord, and Relentless Presence. You actually jump scared me a little bit there, Kogo. We're going to grab you out of the claws, get some shots, Q for the full heal because we had like no cauterize on it, and he's gone. Just want to duel with the Koga. Got the right click, Hellhavora. I'm a little bit worried, but luckily I'm on the top, so you can't fire through my shield. Team, maybe some heals from the back here would be nice. I don't think she can actually go through my shield with her raw damage output here, so even drop an emote there because she's aware of how ridiculous it is that I can just hold that up forever. Shots on her here, put the shield again. I quite literally can just ignore the Vora because she cannot do shit against her shield. It recharges it that quick. It's kind of crazy trying to cover the Leanne here, actually being a Leanne shield, but she's not really playing behind us very well. For his honor, there's a grab to try and save her ass. That kind of worked. We'll drop a Q. Got knocked down a bit. That's for with the. Oh, am I above the threshold? I don't know. She can do that through the shield. I don't know what happened there. Pretty sure I got executed. That was rough. Went for the double haven and we're straight back on it. Shots on the Koga. See, our damage output is still pretty solid. Can I finish him off? No, I find it a little bit more awkward to aim with this weapon because the stick at the end is making me sort of shoot weirdly. We'll pull the shield up here again just to try and cover the team a bit. See if we can finish off there. I'm going to go down here just to get that kill. All right, there's the shield again. Just going to slowly wiggle away. We are pretty safe from her, so I don't have to really worry. Stay inside the Lilith queue. Try and block for the team. Did try and grab the streaks. Missed it. Fair enough. Just gonna push up on him. He can actually go through the shield. He doesn't have wrecker. I don't know, mind the four has wrecker one, but yeah, nobody else is really gonna cause us too much trouble. There's the Q standing on the top is kind of a bad idea, but does draw some attention to us. There's the shield again. I guess if I just distract the Strix, that's useful for the team, because otherwise he's dealing damage to people. I don't know, let's get rid of the IO. Do we dash her here? Oh, okay. Got caught weirdly on the wall. That felt pretty shit. I'm gonna walk back here, try and help the sky out. If she went for the healing setup here, it'd be really nice. She's just gonna get killed by the Koga ultimate. That was painful to watch. Can probably just chill up here forever, to be honest. I don't think we're really gonna get contested that much, especially if she's gonna be dropping the Q. We're actually still behind by 50. I don't know how we're not winning this, to be honest. I feel like I've been on the point the entire match. Do we have the ult? Do I pull the Earth up? I guess we can try and do something. Maybe we should grab the Strix instead. That's probably a better play, right? Or Koga, because he's causing a lot of trouble. Yeah, we went for the Koga. Earth, go ahead and claim your free kill. There we go. Nice. Never noticed the sound on that ultimate before for some reason. Grab on the Vora. She's dead here too. I feel like this is like a really good way to play Khan if you love just supporting the team and helping people out. Even normal Khan, like you do that a little bit, but less so obviously. If you're going for small bullets, you're trying to focus on damage a bit more. Put the shield just wiggle away here. They actually went through it. There's the Q trying to get on the ladder. That's not a ladder, it's an elevator, but we are safe. Vora on our Lilith here. There's a grab on the Koga. That worked, but I slid down. There's the shield, we're going back up. They're both so low. Team, go ahead and kill them, please. Lilith, hit me with a heal, are you in range? There we go, straight back to sitting on the point. But I now realize why we're losing, by the way. We don't have a Leanne or a Victor. This is a 3v5, and somehow they're only winning by 50, or less than that, 30. How are we not, like, getting shredded here? It's a literal 3v5. Kind of want to win this just for the sake of winning a 3v5, but the fact that the 
Victor and Leanne keep repeatedly dying is going to make it kind of impossible. Let's get rid of the Bora here. They're not doing a crazy good job, so it's definitely still possible. It's just sort of unlikely shots on him here. I'm waiting for him to switch to the cause, but he didn't. Grab the lure through the wall, sort of. Free kill. That's one Victor charge. Victor bot, do it. I believe in you. It is actually a bot. There we go. Victor bot actually combos better than some people sometimes. There we go. It's a Q heal for him. What is happening? How are we not getting shredded? I feel like I should drop down to try and shield the bots, but it's probably a better idea for me to try and play with Lilith because she's actually a player. And also the sky a little bit. Hello, enemy Lilith. There's shots for you. You just lost all your health from casting your abilities. There's a Q. Hello, Vora. Shots on you here. Accuracy's kind of bad, but you are rubber banding a bit. Here we go. We are now officially ahead in a 3v5. There's a big heal. The bots are literally just grouping together, giving the enemy free kills, and they just run in and don't attack. Sometimes they synergize well, but most of the time the bots and paladins are just abysmal. There's the shield. Strix is finally counterplaying us a little bit. Sky, get rid of him. There we go. You'll love to see it. If I keep the shield up there all the time, I'm not going to be able to get any kills because we, again, literally only have a Sky here for damage, and that's me and Lilith. That is a crazy amount of damage. Holy, okay. Boris jumping in, shot and a grabber back towards the earth, so maybe we can finish her off. There's the Q to negate that, and she is not out because she's getting heals. We'll just right click here for a second and get back up to full. Koga with the ult, doesn't really matter though. Oh my god, I held that up just to get the extra healing, but it wasn't worth. There's a grab, which didn't work because she right clicked. We grabbed the Koga though, and I'm dead. Yeah, we put up a really good fight for it. You have to give us at least some sort of props for fighting a 3v5 and nearly winning, or at least giving it even. I have a lot of credits. Holy shit. Finish off Rejuvenate and go for Morale Boost, I guess. I don't really know what the best last item there would be. Kind of overwhelmed by the fact that I had so many credits. We'll push up on the Strix here, maybe. Shots on him. Lerth, please come upstairs with me. Lerth, I need your help because I literally have no one else to rely on here. Trying to help her out with the Vora. There we go. Do I grab the IO? Yeah, sure. Someone, please go ahead and claim your free kill. Lerth, you got this. I believe in you. We'll throw her back this way. Yeah, so we can secure it ourselves. If we win this, I would be incredibly proud of the Lerth and the Sky because we're at such a disadvantage here. But it seems like they're sort of trying to capitalize on it. Lerth is playing with me quite a bit. Sky, not so much. Honestly, I don't even know if the Sky's realized, to be honest, because she's still kind of just doing her own thing. Trying to help the Lerth out here with the Koga. I'm just trying to protect her because she is the only reason I'm able to stay alive. Grab, but I missed. There's a Q. Trying to just like, counter as much as I can here. Before I dropped it down, Koga's slashing away at me here. He's going for the ult. Really? Okay. I mean, sure, that's a fair play, right? It makes sense for him to do that, but that felt pretty rough. We finished off our items. We're going to lose it here. The game is definitely over, but props to the Lilith, man. She's going to have a crazy heal stat, or at least she should, right? 395, 399. Might as well make the stat look a little bit better for the end, and there we go. There is the defeat. Felt pretty rough to play that one. I reckon if it was a 5v5, we would have had it in the bag. Sky there saying report Leanne and Victor. Both bots. Was that the only one lagging a bit? The whole game was a bit jank, but Fora was definitely sliding around quite a bit there. Yeah, there are the stats. I'm not going to go through them, but shouts to Lilith there for putting up a fight. And Sky, sort of. But anyway, yeah, that was a look at the new buffed Khan shield. It feels pretty good, to be honest. I put it about on par with some of the other shielding setups, like Max, maybe it's still a little bit under. Okay, I'd say it's about even after the nerfs and stuff. Fernando's also maybe a little bit above it, but it's at least competing with them, whereas before it wasn't really that viable of an option, even though I like to use it every now and again because it was kind of fun. It's actually sort of solid now if you're going to try and just help the team out and block and, you know, get healed and just be annoying and sort of absorb damage as a tank as you should. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know where you want to see the next. Let me know your thoughts on this, of course, down in the comments as well. I'll see you guys all really soon. And as always, stay frosty.